Hey guys, so this is Sana here and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I give tips on how to get a H1 in biology. I personally got a H1 in biology both times. Uh, the first time I did my living season and when I repeat it. Before we jump into the video, um, subscribe and hit the bell notification and let's go! So before I give tips on how to get a H1 in biology, I will give some. Uh, I want to give some background information. Um, I personally really really enjoy biology and I think that can be a driving factor whether you might do well in a subject or not it's uh it's one of the factors it's not the only factor uh but my love for biology was also the reason why I, I focused more on biology at times because i simply just enjoyed doing it i also did some curriculum of gcse's which if you don't know what gcse's are they are um junior start equivalent of uh um of a british system the uk system but i wasn't i wasn't living in uk i was living in another country but in the international system there required us to do GCSEs for our junior cert. Um, I came before I did my, G uh, my GCSEs, but I did do the curriculum for biology there. So in, in junior cert here, you do just science, but in GCSE, you have biology as a subject. So, and that was way advanced than the science or, or the biology that I did here. And that might also be the reason why I knew more in biology than um, my, uh, my fellow classmates, I guess. Uh, also in fifth year, I also did a uh, SAT uh, uh, for biology because I want I want I applied to America in my sixth year and like the the curriculum for SATs is huge like this book is huge and I spend like quite a lot of time doing it and I did get a good score in SAT biology and I was happy with it but that also increased my my basic or my prior knowledge of biology even more than the uh, typical living cert biology. And if you want videos on how to apply to America, because I'm thinking of making some, uh, comment down below and keep an eye out for them, I guess. Um, so this is my my like background. But now I'm um, thinking about all of this. You might not even need that much information, like this much information for biology. I will literally summarize what you need to do for leaving cert biology to get a H1 in it. And frankly, it is not that hard. It's quite simple. And even though biology is supposed to be the hardest to get a H1 in, the reason is simply because a lot more people do biology in leaving cert and then when a lot more people do it who might not even like biology it drives the grades down so if you take the example of blind maths very few people do it and people who do it love it so the h1 ratio for applied maths is huge it's more than biology but the difference is you know less people take it and people who do take it love it for biology it's the opposite everybody takes it and some people don't even like it it doesn't mean that it's hard to get a h1 in biology it just means pair comparatively or ratio wise it's a bit lower but doesn't mean it's hard so yeah let's jump into uh, some things that we can do to get a good score in in biology so first of all uh, i will not even recommend like studying the textbook the textbook is huge it has so much information and it's quite it has way too much excessive information i both my times i did i i used this uh, revision book for biology and it, in my opinion it was good enough like it this revision book had enough information for me to ace my exam another one that i used was revised slides um you can just buy one of them you don't have to buy both of them but um, for some people they might find that some things that are in it might not be in the other one um, but I personally thought that both of them, them are quite um, quite elaborate but they are good enough to get a H1 in biology but the difference is um, if you are doing using the revision books to study for biology I will highly, uh, highly recommend you to study and learn every single thing in them because they're already summarized so you cannot even summarize them even further so learn and try to memorize or understand everything in them um so moving on tip number two exams for biology are very very important if you think you can just learn off the material learn off your notes and just on the day get a h1 in biology you are mistaken <laughs> biology might be easier to some people and seem doable but it is still uh, it's still a leaving start subject and exam and it still requires you to be familiar with the exam questions so Get yourself one of these and try to do all of them. If you can't do all of them, then try to do at least the first five recent years. So, you know, so you are familiar with what's been coming up in the in the past five years. I would recommend you give exam papers more attention than even the textbook questions because 
at the end of the day, again, you're going to be doing exams in the exam and you're not going to be doing textbook questions. And this page in the exam papers are, is so useful and important. As you can see, these are all the exam, these are all the exam questions and exam uh, in the year and you can literally like progress, you can see your progress as you go through exam questions. And that will help you visualize how much you're left with and how much you need to do more. So I really recommend you making use of this exam paper analysis chart. Uh, and I made uh, use of it a lot. Like one, these are my old exam papers, but the ones that I used by repeating but it was all shaded in. I tried to finish all of them. Also another thing moving on is try to do exam questions as you're going along with the topics. That will help you understand as you're going along the topics, what is needed in the exam. So if I'm doing plants, I will start doing plant exam questions as I'm doing it in class, the, the chapter. And that helped me understand, okay, this is what I need to learn from this chapter. This is These are the most important things that are needed in the exam. Doing that also makes sure that I'm doing the exam questions as I'm going along and I'm not really giving it to the last month or the last week, you know. Biology uh, as a subject requires a lot of learning and memorization. And that's coming from someone who really prefer really always tells people to understand 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 but for biology after you have understood you still need to learn a lot of definitions and a lot of um a lot of uh, basic stuff that will come word by word in the exam my way of learning will be for example i'm starting a chapter and i will read through the revision uh, book and then i will go through online and some of the resources that really helped me are khan academy and crash course and watch their videos on that topic so that will help me understand the topic and afterwards after i've understood the topic i will learn the topic off so for biology i do recommend not only relying on the revision books also using other medias to learn biology or to understand biology and for me like e-learning really helped me visualize or understand, especially dna the DNA chapter can be very confusing and very hard to visualize or understand and having um, a video that shows how a DNA is made, shows the structures helps me visualize it and then makes it easier for me to learn that chapter off. I personally find that making notes for uh, biology was not necessary. I really saved time by just learning off the revision books and then using that time to do exam questions. Some people say they want to make notes because they learn by writing. I guess if that's your way of learning better or effectively then go for it. But for biology, if you can um, use the revision books in conjunction with the online media then you will be fine without making notes and your notes could be your exam questions that you have done. I think they are sufficient as notes but for people who think that writing helps them learn then by all means go for it but make sure you are not using that as a passive way of studying and you are actively using writing as a way of learning. So what I mean by that is don't fall in the hole of, oh, I put open a chapter in this book and write, you know, on a, and write for two hours. And in your mind, you're thinking, oh, I'm learning for two hours. Writing passively is not the same as learning. Active learning is more encouraged and is, is so much better and will save you so much time. So if you think that, oh, writing helps me remember or learn, then make sure that as you're writing or as you're going along, read it out loud or force yourself to act a recall or keep on you know coming after five minutes and saying okay what am i writing what, what am i writing am i writing something right right or wrong and uh, another another thing that i would say is the best way of learning or understanding something is teaching it so if you think oh oh my god i, I don't think the plant i don't i don't know plant that well understand the chapter and maybe explain it to your classmate, explain it to your siblings or anybody else, you know, and that will help you understand the chapter even further. Um, again, all of the things that I'm saying have to do with active learning and not just passively sitting and looking at a book and thinking, oh, it's going, it's like, it's going into my head by osmosis or something. Experiments for biology are as important as experiments for the other sciences and make sure you give attention to the experiments. And frankly, experiments for biology are not as hard as chemistry and physics. I can't use it physics. Like, they eat my head like they eat my brain but for biology they are doable what helped what can help you learn the experiments is having a day only for experiments so for example if you are learning if you're revising all the biology curriculum then having a day just solely for experiments can ensure that you're giving experiments enough time and enough focus to learn them and you know because section b of biology exam question is all about experiments and if you do exam questions you will see that they are 
quite repetitive that you, they repeat a lot so that will help you even like um, narrow down your learning even more because they keep on repeating so you, you only have to learn the same thing over and over again I think some of the chapters that are really important to focus on are plants the all the plants chapters ecology all the chapters for ecology if you can really narrow the, that down because that makes a bulk of exam human physiology so nervous system the endocrine system human digestion um and and the last topic is dna and genetics so if you can really focus on these five four to uh, topics then that will really help you ensure maximum marks in biology other topics are they make up the exam questions and paper but these topics are the majority of the exam paper so really focus on them and really give them time and as you do biology you will realize that biology is not that hard they, they're not that many um many tricks and tri uh, tricks in it the biggest problem in biology is how much learning it can involve because it's a lot of like it's a it, it's a lot of learning uh, and you will the majority of time that you will have to give is learning and doing exam questions so if you think maybe your memorization is not that good that you you, you find it hard to learn stuff then i really recommend starting with biology really early and giving one chapter per week to biology so by the time you are near leaving cert you have done like all of the chapters so that will really help you um another tip is try to do more questions if you can in the exam i know um you know some people think that may might be running out of time but if you have enough time because biology exam offers a lot of option a lot of choice i really like that exam that's why if you have more time and you finished early then try to do some extra questions because it will help you if and both times i did my uh, biology i did extra questions and i think that was one of the reasons why i got a h1 the extra question might have been better worded or better answered by me um so having that option to fall back on having that extra question done will help you not be stuck in a corner and if you have time uh, for answering an extra question or more when it comes to answering the questions in biology section a and b are quite short answers so usually one or two lines or one or two words even and being concise and comprehensive is uh, being con concise is very important in biology section c uh, is essay type questions but not essay type like if you can and make them understand in two or three lines or four lines then that's good what I used to do is I used to bullet point right and so I would even I would literally make it so easy for the examiner to read my answers and to read the information I'm giving and I'm not writing pages and pages and pages for one for example so if you look at uh, 2015 um, section C question 11 um, B21 what is lipase I would just answer what is lipase one line that's it no need to write like paragraphs this is a one word answer so if you go to question c it's give two functions of the large intestine literally two lines two functions that's it you're not writing an essay here you're literally giving them the information they want right away very concise short and they're not having to search for it so yeah this is how i approach leaving serology and if you want more information or if you have more questions comment down below i will try to answer as many as i can i hope you learned something from this video and i hope everybody who wants a h1 will get in i think we need to emphasize that every subject that you need to get a h1 when you want to get a h1 in requires hard work h1 is not easy it's not something that will fall into your lap so expect to do some work expect to put some hours into into this subject or expect to do more you know more than other people just to get that grade because it is hard work and it, it requires some extra stuff yeah this is it for now and uh, like this video subscribe and watch my other videos here and i will see you in the next video bye feeling good hey feeling good like i should